Yo, here we go. It's album review time. Miles Kane, Coup de Gras. Coup de Gras is the third studio album from English indie musician Miles Kane. Miles Kane first came to everyone's attention as lead singer of The Rascals, who released a single studio album in 2008. Kane left the group to go solo and released a couple of well-charting solo albums before joining up with Alex Turner of Arctic Monkeys fame to create The Last Shadow Puppets, who have released two alright studio albums. Everything You've Come to Expect came out a couple years ago and has served as a harbinger of what Alex Turner would morph the Arctic Monkeys into with their most recent album, The Polarizing Tranquility Base Hotel and Casino. Meanwhile, Kane's solo career has been dormant for the past five years. Most recently, he released Don't Forget Who You Are in 2013 which came two years after the first studio album. So this is the first Miles Kane album in five years, Coup de Gras. Coup de Gras is primarily indie pop with quite a bit of glam rock influences. Kane wears his influences quite, quite heavily on Coup de Gras. I've seen parts of this album compared to T-Rex, The Fall, and even Rod Stewart. I personally think the biggest influence on Coup de Gras is Alex Turner. You can hear echoes of the most recent Last Shadow Puppets album and even Tranquility Bass Hotel on a few of the slower tracks on Coup de Gras. And a lot of people have been saying that since Turner's gone back to the Arctic Monkeys, Miles Kane has to come out of his shell again and prove himself as a solo artist despite having a somewhat patchy record so far. Jamie T has got co-writing credits on the majority of tracks on Coup de Gras. Jamie T contributes some fine guitar work here. I love Wrong Side of Life. I personally think this is the strongest track on the album. The intro t takes about a minute. It's very jerky, very unclear what sort of track this, this is gonna become. And then after about a minute, the strong guitars come in. I love how Kane's vocals sound. He's singing at the top of his lungs, talking to the subject, trying to get us taken back. And you can really hear the passion and the desperation in his voice. The instrumental is really what keeps this song. It's brilliant. I love how they strip out parts of the instrumental at different parts. And I think this track is really brilliantly produced and could work very well as a single from Coup de Gras. Loaded is another notable track from this album, written by Miles Kane, Jamie T, and also features a co-writing credit from Lana, Lana Del Rey. This is very much paint by numbers, indie rock, indie pop. The instrumental and just the way the song evolves it feels like it could have been something left over from Arctic Monkeys' AM album. It, re it reminds me a bit of Why Do You Only Call Me When You're High? And it's just a bit derivative. Kane's vocals drown out Lana Del Rey, who's providing backing here. And it is one of the weaker moments on the album. Cry On My Guitar is T-Rex-inspired glam rock. It's got the surging bass and electric guitar that you'd expect in that sort of song. And I'm surprised there's not even like hand claps to really like just make it really, really feel like fucking T-Rex here. It all builds up into a very unsatisfying chorus about how you push him too far and he's going to cry on his guitar. And again, this is another derivative moment here. It makes me want to just listen to like a T-Rex album instead. The lyrics are lazy, the delivery feels lacklustre, and Kane's vocals here just sound like they've been just ripped off from either Rod Stewart or Mark Bolan. Just very raspy, very much like his, vo his voice is hurting, and 
just overall quite poor. Overall, coup de gras is filled with derivative, lackluster ideas, and is primarily helped by Jamie T's instrumental work. Aside from Wrong Side of Life, there isn't much of interest on coup de gras. These are ideas you've heard in better rock genres performed much more convincingly and with a lot more talent than is on display here. This is quite a lacklustre project, not really worth checking out. Coup de Gras, Miles Kane, 